Good afternoon. My name is Tom Kalinowski. I'm the Director of Technology and Operations here at Colonial Intermediate Unit 20. Today is April 6, 2018. In today's tech tip, we're going to talk about the new features that are available in Calendar to help you book resources like conference rooms. So let's get started. When you're inside your calendar, in the top left-hand corner, you have the month view of your calendar. Um, you could click on any of those days, and you're typically brought to a week view here. Let's say we wanted to uh, schedule a meeting, say, at 11 o'clock here on the 12th. We could go ahead and click on here, and we can type in test meeting. Okay. If we go ahead and click on more options, okay, if you're using G Suite for education, you'll uh, click on rooms up here. And now you'll see that the rooms are broken down by building. Uh, so these particular buildings apply to us in your particular school. Uh, they might be the names of your other elementary schools or intermediate schools, etc. Uh, so for central office, if I click the down arrow here, we'll see some of the rooms that are available. It is only listing uh, the rooms that are available. So you don't have to worry about checking for availability or anything like that. So at uh, the central office, we know that conference room two uh, is available there. We could simply click conference room two, uh, just like I did. And uh, you'll see that uh, here is the organizer and uh, that room two uh, is booked there. Um, these letters stand for uh, CO is central office, uh, FL1 means floor one, uh, and then conference room two is listed there. When you're ready to uh, book the meeting, all you have to do is click save there. That's it. Uh, that's all you have to do. Um, I'll show you uh, another example for another building. If we uh, click someplace else, let's say on Friday at 1 o'clock, I'll call this test 2. More options. Okay. And let's say we had a particular meeting to attend and we wanted to uh, host it at Colonial Academy. We could click the down arrow there and we can see that afternoon there are no rooms available. Uh, there are rooms there, uh, they're just not available. Um, if we wanted to uh, see those rooms despite their availability, right here where it says available rooms only, we could say include unavailable rooms. And then uh, you can see uh, all the rooms, but they all have lines through them, meaning that they are not available. So let's put that back to available rooms only. Uh, and uh, Calc, uh, we also have uh, no particular rooms available that day. Um, and again, if we go back here, we can see that there are some rooms available, um, but uh, that particular day, uh, there are no rooms available. Um, and uh, it's worth noting that um, some cars that are available to Intermediate Unit 20 uh, are also listed under uh, Central Office. Um, so again, we'll go to unavailable just to show you. Um, so you'll see here's a uh, car, a car, a car. Uh, so you would book a car the same exact way. I hope you found today's tip valuable. Uh, if you have any questions about using this feature from a user's perspective or setting up this feature from a uh, G Suite administrator's perspective, don't hesitate to put your questions in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for future topics, um, you may uh, put those suggestions in the comments below as well. I hope you guys have a great weekend. See you next time. Bye.